Today we're talking about quite an explosive situation regarding an airplane, and no not that situation. This plane actually made a landing, but not before somebody absolutely voided their bowels all over the, the aisle of this airplane. To the point where the whole situation is now being dubbed the poop plane incident. So let's talk about it, shall we? <laughs> this whole fairy tale begins on last Friday whenever this airplane was scheduled to travel from Atlanta to Barcelona. I except it didn't exactly make it that far because, as previously mentioned, about two hours into the flight, one of the passengers had an emergency. They, they had diarrhea, explosive diarrhea, literally all up and down this runway. There is video of it. I'm going to show you a little bit of it here, just so you can see what's going on. It is absolutely everywhere. It reminds me of that episode of The Office where Kevin is walking in with his famous chili, and then he spills it everywhere. It looks like Kevin Malone got on this airplane and spilled his chili everywhere. And I feel absolutely horrible for whoever this unfortunate diabolical dutier was. Because they, that, that is going, that is embarrassment for life. Because I know you already have to feel horrible to even have this kind of diarrhea in the first place. And then to have everybody on the airplane see you diarrhea all over yourself and all over the airplane. It is, oh, dude, I can't even imagine. I'm trying to picture the situation in my head of this person just walking down the aisle going, oh, oh, just like trying to push their butt cheeks together. But as we all have experienced in the past, when you have diarrhea, it's coming out one way or the other. You could put a butt plug in and it's still gonna, it's gonna push that thing out and erupt like a gauzer. But there's actually a little bit of evidence to prove that this story exists, that it's not some type of urban legend if you were thinking that this didn't happen. There is actual uh, audio here from the, the pilot himself from this flight that you can hear him say, how someone diarrheaed on the plane and they're being told to turn around and make an emergency landing. Negative. It's just a, a biohazard issue. I, you know, we've had a passenger who had diarrhea all the way through the airplane, so they want us to come back to Atlanta. Jesus. Imagine, imagine having one of the, the worst incidents of your life. You diarrhea everywhere, and now you're being known as a biohazard issue. <laughs> You literally created a biohazard issue, made this plane make an emergency landing, and delayed the whole trip about eight hours. Dear God, I feel so bad for this person. And the comments on this post, I don't know if you want to believe it or not, but people are saying that they were on this flight. This person here said that they were on the flight, it was a mess, the pilots made the right decision to turn around, the ground crew ripped out the carpet and put in new. Considering the circumstances, the ground crew did a great job along with the attendants and the pilots. And then someone else said that their partner was on the flight and it was pretty bad. It was dribbled down the aisle. Oh my god, dribbled. That puts such a bad... <laughs> Why did you have to use dribbled? It was dribbled down the aisle, smelled horrible. The vanilla scented disinfectant used on it only made it smell like vanilla shit. <laughs> After the plane landed, it was thoroughly clean. They didn't leave until around 2.30 a.m. And then the fact they put vanilla-scented disinfectant on shit. You gotta understand, whatever you spray on poop, it's not gonna make it smell better. It's gonna make the poop just have a, a scent of whatever you're spraying on it. So that's just now, like they said, vanilla-scented shit. <laughs> and can you imagine being one of the passengers on this plane? Just having to sit there and watch this unfortunate soul just trudge past you with the doing the walk of shame while leaving a snail trail of poop of diarrhea behind them oh my god like you i, I would say everyone everyone on that plane was doing this going because you're in a you're in a enclosed tube it's an airtight tube so that air is just getting recirculated that had to oh my that had to be the most unbearable experience it's like having someone fart under the covers and then cover your head up with it, but times 12, because you have to sit there for however long it takes for them to turn the plane around and make an emergency landing. Dear, oh my God. I, yeah, I feel bad for the passengers, obviously, because of like what I just said, but I, I can't even imagine what it must feel like to be the person who created the biohazard. 
the amount of guilt they're probably feeling over something they, they had no control over whatsoever. You can't control your bowels. If you had like food poisoning or something, you ate something bad, or maybe you just had like a stomach bug, you were sick or something. You can't, you can't help it. When the diarrhea comes out, it just it keeps a flowing. And unfortunately, it happened to this person before they can make it to a bathroom or before they could uh, just get off the flight. That probably, that has to be top three places, top three worst places to have diarrhea is on an airplane. I'm just looking through this story and it, geez, they, they just created a brown runway on this airplane. It's literally, the video, it's such a long trail of diarrhea. Such a long trail. Oh my god. I just, I'm, I'm glad there isn't a video of it because that person would be, they would be in public laughing stock and I would feel horrible. But imagining it, it's so funny to me because you can just imagine this person getting up being like, oh shit. And they know they're not going to make it to the bathroom. And then they just start having diarrhea from one end of the plane all the way towards like up to the front where the bathroom is. And all the while there's just this poop following them like a cosmetic trail in Rocket League. Oh my lord. Ah! Ah! <laughs> but that's pretty much it for this situation. I wouldn't imagine we're ever going to know the identity of the person who had the biohazard come out of them. Because one, they would just be publicly embarrassing themselves. They would making- they would be allowing people to point fingers and laugh at them and everywhere they go they'd be the diarrhea dude or diarrhea not dude woman diarrhea woman whatever they'd be the poopy person and i, I don't think anybody wants to be the poopy person so I, I i haven't found any information about who it was this is all the info that all the stuff i showed you is all the stuff i found and i imagine that's how it's going to stay it's going to be one of those stories that you can tell your grandkids and they'll be like no way someone actually pooped on an airplane grandpa you're senile you need to be put into an old person's home. You're losing your you're losing your mind. And you're like, oh no, look it up, Sonny. There's actually a TikTok of it. You remember TikTok? Someone had a someone diarrheaed from one end of the plane to the other. <laughs> but yeah, before I keep laughing at just the thought of poop like a second grader, I'm gonna end the video. I'll catch you in the next one.